this three-point lead. Jackson hooks a pass. Handled. Touchdown! Marquise Brown! And Wilson keeps. Surveys. Nowhere to go. And back in the end zone. Touchdown! What a catch! Second down, six. Quarterback will take it himself. Blocked by Sneed. He's got the corner. A block by the rookie wide receiver, Quaker. Touchdown! Russell Wilson keeps. Can he reach the end zone? Yes! Seahawks touchdown run from Russell Wilson. Seattle. Seattle, Seattle, Seattle. We got Seattle this week. Um, this is not an easy game. This is the start of a very tough stretch for the Ravens. No, a very tough and important stretch that's, stretch that's basically going to determine the season for the Ravens. Now, I know we're sitting at 4-2, and two, but obviously at this point in the season, the 4-2 record doesn't mean much. But hey, you're over 500. We're coming towards our tough stretch right now, and if we want to make the playoffs, we're going to have to do well against some of our opponents. Now, we got the Seahawks here. We've got the Patriots after our bye week. we got San Francisco on another day. It's you got some tough opponents coming up, so the Ravens are going to have to be in top form. But right now, we're going to focus on Seattle because that's what they got coming up this week. Now, a return for Earl Thomas in Seattle. This is kind of his revenge game because, you know, the way he left Seattle and the way his career ended there wasn't exactly ideal for both him and the Seahawks. Didn't really go well. So he gets to come back in Seattle, go up against Russell Wilson in that offense, and, you know, see Pete Carroll again. We'll see how that goes, but... uh. It's going to be an interesting game, going to be a fun game, but you know, hopefully the Ravens can come out with the victory. This is one of the five games, I believe, coming into the season that the Ravens were going to lose just because Russell Wilson is that great and I have him as a top five quarter quarterback. So like, I'm hoping we win, but I see this more as a loss. I wrote this as a loss at the beginning of the season, but we're not going to come in here with that attitude. Let's talk about what the Ravens got to do to win. So, offense. We got to run the football. Look at what we did last week. I understand this against the Cincinnati Bengals and their run defense is the worst in the league or the second worst. I think they're ranked 30th in run defense, but Seattle, they're also not a great run defense either. Their run defense is actually pretty weak. If you look at last week at what the Cleveland Browns were able to do early in that game, they were running the football with Chubb and they were having success for it. And it really helped them gain that lead. Heck, Baker Mayfield ran in for a touchdown as well. Their run defense isn't the best, and it was clearly shown against that Browns team last week. So that's something we can exploit this week. We are the best running team in the league. We do it the best way. We got a quarterback that can run the football efficiently and smartly because he doesn't take big hits. And, you know, we got three great running backs. We know Mark Ingram. We know Gus Edwards. We know Justice Hill. They can run the ball fiercely, and they can get down the field. If you give them open space, they're gone. So we got great running backs. We got Lamar. If he needs to run, he will take off. If he needs to scramble, he will do so. He will extend plays. He will make plays for both his arms and legs. But this week, they may ask him to do what they did last week, take a couple extra carries right there, maybe a little bit more carries, 10-plus carries possibly, and running the football and just exploiting that run defense of the Seattle Seahawks. Going to have to run the football, and Lamar Jackson is going to have to protect the football, be smart, make smart throws, make smart plays, and exploit their secondary because their secondary isn't the best either. Their run defense is definitely worse than their secondary, but, you know, you could, there are points in that secondary where you can exploit. And Lamar, if he's efficient and safe with the ball, he should be able to exploit it, come up with a couple touchdowns. Hopefully, he can get out of Seattle with the win. Offense, really, just focus on running the football. Lamar's smart with the ball. Makes a couple big plays with his arm, and you're going to get the win against Seattle. Much easy for what the offense has got to do, but what the defense got to do. <sighs> okay, defense. You got to cover your man. We're looking specifically at the secondary. You've got to cover your man. Because I'm going to be honest, blitzing Russell Wilson is useless. It's It's just useless. You're not getting to this guy. This guy can make plays inside and outside the pocket. He's efficient throwing the ball both in and out of the numbers. It don't matter where. He can throw the ball anywhere 
on the field, and he can do it whether in or out of the pocket. You're not stopping Russell Wilson. Bro, did you see that? Did you see that touchdown he had to Tyler Lockett against the Rams? That was just poetry right there. Absolutely beautiful. So blitzing Russell Wilson isn't really going to get you anywhere. I mean, besides, we don't even have a pass rush. We don't really have a great pass rush, so they're probably not getting to Russell Wilson. If they do, if they can get like two or three sacks on Russell Wilson, I will be so shocked. I'll be watching the game. I'll come back in the post game and talk about that. If the Ravens can get like three sacks on Russell Wilson in Sunday's game, I will come in my post game and apologize to our pass rushers because I don't think they're getting three sacks on Russell Wilson. That guy is way too elusive to be able to get him down. Like, he's, I, I don't see it happening. So I'm looking at this game for the secondary to win this for us. They got to, they got to keep up with their man. They got to keep up with the man. They cannot give up any big plays over the top because Russell Wilson is the best in the game at doing that. He will carve a defense up both in and out of the pocket. No matter where he is on the field, no matter where his receivers are on the field, he will get that ball to them perfectly thrown. So our secondary, our corners are going to have to be on it. You know, Marlon Humphrey is going to have to be on it. We just got Marcus Peters, so he's going to have to be on it as well. Um, Earl Thomas, he's going to have to be on it as well. Brandon Carr, he's going to have to be on it as well. Chuck Clark, if he's playing, most likely definitely he is playing. I'm not talking about Chuck Clark. He's going to have to be on it as well. Everyone's going to be have to be on in that secondary, man. Our secondary is going to have to hold off Russell Wilson and force him to make a mistake. He hasn't turned the ball over at once this season, so a turnover would also be very useful in this game and could really help out with the offense because, you know, our offense is going to be mostly focused on running the ball, dominating time of possession, and coming up with points. But if our defense can get up one turnover, one turnover in a key moment in this game, Baltimore is walking out of Seattle with a victory. So really, this game is going to come down to our defense. I believe our offense is going to do well against Seattle's defense. We're going to run the ball. We're going to put ourselves in position to score points. We're going to score a couple touchdowns, a couple field goals. We're going to put points on the board. But our defense, particularly our secondary, is going to have to stay with their man and try to make Russell Wilson's job hard and especially force his first turnover of the season. If the Ravens want to win in Seattle, they're going to have to force Russell Wilson to turn the ball over. If we can get one turnover in a key moment, we're winning this game. As for special teams, um, same old, same old for Tucker and the crew. You know, we I I expect perfection from them for the most part. I know they're not going to mess up. You know, they may they may wobble once in a while when it comes to setting up the kick and you know and the snapping, but for the most part, I know those three guys right there. They know how to do their job. As for you know, the rest of the special teams, don't don't do what you did against Cincinnati. You cannot give up a kick return. You cannot give up a ret kick return to start the game. You do not want to start this game down seven because we don't play well from behind. So make sure you don't give up any big kick returns or punt returns. Just be careful with that special team. That's all I'm asking for. You cannot give up any points. Special teams cannot give up any points to Seattle because this is not going to be an easy game and this is not going to be the type of game where you can just like have a play like what happened in Cincinnati and just assume you're going to be able to beat the Seahawks. It ain't going to happen like that. So, final scores. Um, I already personally have us losing because this was one of the five games I had us losing this season. So, I could see us losing this game, but if the Ravens can do what I pointed out, if they can run the ball... If Lamar can be efficient with the ball, can be accurate with the ball, which he has been the whole season, and just play smart, not turn the ball over, throw a, lot, a couple balls downfield, see how that goes. I don't know if Marquise Brown's going to be playing on Sunday. It's very possible he is, but we'll have to see. If he can make smart plays, if he can you know, utilize his arm and legs efficiently and just put up points on the board, and if our defense can stay with their man and force Russell Wilson to turn the ball over at least once, then we can come out of Seattle with the victory. If they do that, I can see the Ravens winning this game. Whew. Let me see. 27-24. 27-24. I think they can win 27-24. I don't think our offense is putting up 30 points in Seattle. Especially with the way we run. I can see 27-24. I'm going to give it like 27-24 or 24-20. I think one of those two ways... Is that, that that's the only two ways I can see is when 27, 24, or 24 to 20. Mostly 27 to 24 because I believe it'll come up to Tucker to win the game for us late in the game. I think that's how it's going to be because Tucker is just our 
go-to guy for game winners. So I think it'll be like that. 27-24. We'll see. It's going to be a tough game. It's going to be a loud game because Seattle can get loud. And we're going to have to be on them. We can't all you also like to talk about this. Don't turn the ball over. Offense, do not turn the ball over. Zero turnovers. No fumbles, no interceptions, nothing. We turn the ball over. We're losing in Seattle. If we turn the ball over, guys, I'm serious. If fumble at any point in time is going to ruin us. An interception by Lamar is probably the game. I'm 100% serious on that. Russell Wilson will capitalize on that and we will be down. And this team does not play well being down, especially going into halftime because we are 0-17 or in the last three years or whenever. We are 0-17 when we go down. Like, we're down by, like, I don't know. If we're just down in period, we're 0-17 going into, if we come out of halftime being down in the game. We're not winning the game if we're down. So, it's not a team that plays from behind. We got to win this game. We got to win this game, and we got to make sure we're up in front. And we just got to make sure we don't make any mistakes. So, don't make any mistakes. Run the ball efficiently. Lamar makes some smart plays with his arms and legs. With his arm and legs. Defense forces Russell Wilson to commit his first turnover of the season. They stay with their man, don't give up the big play, and the Ravens will walk out of Seattle with a 27-24 win. That's what I got for this week. Hope you guys enjoy. And I'm out of here. Go Ravens! We're going to get blown out in Seattle. I just feel it. We're going to get blown out.